Some persons living with disability in the Ashanti region are protesting against government's failure to build an orthopedic treatment facility. The group says government has over the years turned a blind eye to providing quality health care for persons with disability. Leader of the group, Vera Kusia Samoa, describes as is happening the absence of orthopedic treatment centers and prosthetics facilities. Nanaya Ojima has more. Members of the group in their prosthetic legs Sopat shoes, clippers, and wheelchairs march through some principal streets of Kumase to register their displeasure against the government. Clad in red, the exercise was tough, but members say the pressing issues demanded the action. They presented a petition to the Ashanti Regional Minister and Ashanti Regional Director of Health Services. Regional Health Director Dr. Emmanuel Tenkran says the only centre at the Konfuanoche Teaching Hospital is not good for purpose. Uh, we don't have a good centre in Ashanti region. The only centre that we have is so dilapidated and I believe that it is not good for purpose. Uh, so we took decision that we will use the old Bekwai Hospital, part of it, as a new centre at least for orthotics and then for prosthesis. We've started the process. Uh, you came to me and we started the letters. I've sent a couple of letters to the Director General to see whether we can initiate a new center. Because the one that we have in Ashanti region is not good for purpose. The orthotics and prosthetics center at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital also looks abandoned. Weeds cover parts of the windows of the dilapidated structure. The removed concrete slabs on the footpath pose danger to disability patients. Malfunctioning equipment at the facility makes the center unfriendly to patients. The leader of the group, Vera Kusia Samoa, says movement is difficult without the equipment. The situation over here is not good at all. We don't have technicians, well-trained, I mean, and committed ones here. Lack of mechanism to operate is a problem here. We don't have the caliper bars and so on and so forth. Even the road leading to the prosthetic and orthotic center is terrible. So we are pleading. The old facility is without proper chairs and beds for patients who sit on a bench to undergo procedures to get their clippers and prosthetic legs, a situation they say affects their spine. The group claims the situation is not different from other centers at Jache, Cape Coast, Ho and Tamale. We undress here, remove our calipers here and look at a woman undressed at a, 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 such a place before you can remove your calipers. So it's very, 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 very terrible. We don't like this place. In fact, it's very, very terrible. Well, we even don't have chairs to sit on. When we come here, we persons with disability, we don't deserve to sit on benches. But over here, we don't have any good chairs. We sit on benches, which is not good for us. In fact, our situation is unbearable. Dr. Tinkran assured them of getting their issues resolved. I believe that... Uh we we'll have to get a, at least a new orthopedic hospital as part of the Agenda 111. So if we can convert some of the facilities into orthopedic hospital to support you. But as I told you, we have a seniors uh, app. We have the director general, the health minister, and then the government to deal with. So we will take your petition and then put a covering letter on it and then send it to our director general. And I believe that the director general will follow it up. For joining us, Nanea Ojima Kumasi.